Hello everybody, welcome back to another match day vlog video where we are about to depart and set off for um, Sherwood Collieries in our next FA Cup tie. Um, coming off the back of our draw with Cleethorpes on Wednesday evening, we now have a 5.30pm kickoff today um, against Sherwood Collieries in the FA Cup, the next round. Um, which we obviously are hoping to get through. It would be very nice. Um, but we don't know. <laughs> Anything can happen at this moment in time, I think. Um, what we will be doing, um, we plan to get to Sherwood quite early, get, grab ourselves a bit of lunch, um, and see where things go. And um, yeah, look forward to the look forward to the match i'm hoping it's going to be a good one so first up on our our tour this weekend was greg's fish bar then we went off to a nice little pub for something to eat which was also holding a a steampunk event cosplay type event there was lots of people with very weird colorful costumes and yeah we felt very, very underdressed, I have to say. Um, although, compared to some of the people that were also wandering about and um, occupying a bouncy castle out here, we were very overdressed as well. But, you know. On the bouncy castle! Oh, hello! Yeah. Probably should have had some spend some time on that bouncy Perhaps castle. He genuinely doesn't have any bottoms on. Yes. He literally has pants on. We turned the wrong way. We should have gone left. <laughs> literally, there's nothing. If there was, they got to be invisible. <laughs> Them see through. I'm not being funny. She's just put a bikini oh, bottoms on, isn't she? And a, and a fucking t-shirt. And a t-shirt. That's how they dress, apparently. Welcome to Mansfield, everybody. <laughs> no, there's going to be one on Happy Bloke, isn't there? Again. Plastic drink bottles. Spot of cricket for anybody on arrival? You fancied it? <laughs> Outside the uh, clubhouse? Um, not a sport I really follow or watch, so. But hey, nice of them to put some entertainment on before the game. It was supposed to be a rugby match being played before the um, football, um, but that got cancelled apparently the night before. So. I guess we could have kicked off at half past three, uh, three o'clock on Saturday afternoon and not had the weird 5.30 time schedule because it's not like we was getting TV coverage or anything, was it? Oh. Oh. Wander to the ground. Nice and sunny out here anyway. It's, it's nice and sunny and warm. Perfect for all those that have wet themselves in the bar. And didn't bring a change of clothes with them. I'm glad we don't play any of this nonsense stuff on our pitch. Because the rugby got cancelled, oh. so we could have had a normal three o'clock match. Yeah. 
lads are warming up on the 3G today. Is it? Or walking through? Ah. Interesting. From Grimsby? Young lad. Lad? Yeah. Oh, we might bend the list. Oh, right. Where? With the bright orange fruit? They are. They're not orange. They're 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 orange. They're
Greg's just talking about is a football manager post going viral again. <laughs> it's gained 34 followers. <laughs> What's it like being a legend? <laughs> yeah, well, we've seen his fish and chip shop on the way here. Greg's fish place. <laughs> I assume Jake's drawing the short straw today then, he's got to mark Greg. Well, I told him he was wearing the wrong shirt. Yeah. I hope Waldron's wearing someone else's shoes then, and they're not his. It's passion fruit. <laughs> Pink boots. Come on, lad, somebody's got to tackle him. Yeah, but Toots could play. <laughs> Toots was pretty decent. <laughs> Chipped in with a few goals and... Assisted here and, and, and there, could and he could sing. Yeah. That's a... Yeah, just book him for like bar nights. <laughs> oh, they're over there now. Look, Gary the gardener, and uh, everyone else. What are we doing over there? Chasing the kids. Oh. Ollie's kind of football. Well done, Ollie. One for the collection. How many is that now in the car? In the car or in, in the collection? In the collection. 20. Yeah. You'll soon be able to start providing the club with theirs. Discounted rate, mate's rate. We've got about four of those. Four of them ones. They're worth a bit, those balls. They are expensive, them ones. Oh. Why are those two not training? Why is Tom red shirted? Did he get wiped out on Wednesday? No. That was in the Loughborough game, wasn't it, at home? I don't know. It's just turn now, maybe, is it? Is the bony learning to be a goalkeeper, maybe? Maybe. Maybe that's his punishment. <laughs> For his wayward crossing and his um, long sleeve shirt error. Security guard's going to apprehend Ollie now. Ollie's just like, get out of here, big man. You do you know who I am? So you're not having my football. You're not having your football back. Finders keepers. Finders keepers. It is lit like. Steelers keepers. Steelers keepers. <laughs> That's his football now. Now he's calling over the other one. He needs a bit of extra help to get the ball off Ollie. Takes two security guards to take a ball off a little kid. <laughs> That's just a quid for the kid. Hmm.
Never known that before. I don't mind. It must be different, you know, because they're different league to us, aren't they? Yeah. I guess we're so used to them being free if they were with an adult. <laughs> mm. If, so if they're with a paying adult, they're being, getting free. I suppose technically, I suppose we won't pay an adult as well, they are free. We are all paying adults. Just oh. some of us are on the. Oh no, Emily's fallen over. More plasters needed. Bojang's here. Emily. That's a training. Warming up. Going well. Emily, Looks like the goalkeeping coach has done himself an injury. <laughs> Warming up the goalkeepers. Safety first, get rid. 
Hold him. Hold it, Phil. Hold. He's off. Greg's starting to throw his hands around all over the place. It's what you get with him, isn't it? You're just going to... Go on, Rod! Come on, Greg! Oh, oh, you're fucking appealing to that man. Fuck off, BC! Come on, Sam! Yes, right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Now throw in.
Do with five goals, couldn't we? Yeah. I like that. What Ben Oak put on about that player I just thought I don't know how many goals gone. I'm not. We need a scorer. So following a difficult game, it was time to go home and treat myself to a lovely Indian takeaway from my favourite little delivery place um, and console myself having had suffered a very horrendous defeat by um, eating lots of nice food. Okay, so this is the uh, post-match uh, analysis report part of the video, and um, it's not a good one, I'm afraid. Uh, we lost 3-1. 3-1 to Sherwood Collieries. And our one goal came as a consolation right at the end of the match. Um, we were 2-0 down at half-time. Um, and they managed to get another one in the second half. Um, very, very disappointing performance. I can't find any positive or, you know, encouraging things to say about that, really. Um, new bows, because I keep seeing them. Um, yeah, I'm not really 
wasn't really happy with what I saw out there in the performance. Um, massive contrast to Tuesday night, uh, Wednesday night, should I say, against P Forbes, where we definitely played better um, individually and collectively. Um, Saturday, Saturday night, Sherwood Collar is, we were just awful. Awful. Um, and it's so frustrating to watch it because, again, the, the contrast in performance, the inconsistency is what's just maddening. <laughs> I know it's frustrating the uh, coaches and the management <laughs> having talked to them after the game. Um, it just seems like I don't know. I don't know whether it's a case of some players not being cut out for this, not cut cut out for this level, um, or the fact that they're just so young, some of them, and they are inexperienced. But uh, something, something, something has to change um, going forward, because you know performances like that just cannot be tolerated. And there definitely has to be improvements in areas of our game. Um, big things I noticed on Saturday night was giving the opposition far, far too much space, far too much time on the ball. Uh, players were not picking up players and marking players. Um, just, again goes back to giving them too much space. Um, and the big thing, and obviously the one big thing that does annoy me, and I mentioned this in the last video, I mentioned this in the last video, and I think probably in the Hebburn video as well, is that when you lose the ball, when players lose the ball, they just don't seem to show any interest in willing, in wanting to win it back. It's almost as if, like, they've lost the ball, I've lost the ball. It's someone else's job now to get it, <laughs> get to win it, and then give me it back. And that's unacceptable. Everybody has got to be responsible. If you lose the ball, you've got to get it. You've got to win it back because you lost it. You know, it's not somebody else's job to do that. Um, and I would say as well, from Saturday's game, where was our midfield? Where was the midfield? There seemed to be a huge gap, huge gap between our defence and our forwards, with nothing in between. Nothing in between. Nobody there doing anything. And it's so difficult because the, the forwards obviously aren't getting supply. Um, and when the defend, when the opposition take the ball off our forwards, they're just advancing down the flipping field to our defence without contest. You know where is where are the midfielders? Who are you know the guys in the middle? Where are they? <laughs> where were they? Um. So yeah. Very disappointing and obviously frustrating to go out of the cup at this round of the competition. Um, would have liked another couple of matches just to obviously get some much needed prize money coming into the club. But at the same time, you know, performances like that aren't, aren't going to get you nowhere. And now we've got to try and fix that for Tuesday evening against Stocksbridge at home before we then travel to Brig House on Saturday and then before we come back Bank Holiday Monday play Belper so three games this week three games this week not a lot of time at the moment in between games to try and fix and change and turn things around you've just got to pick, you've just got to pick yourselves up and go again players and you just got to stop. 
with the you know you've got to try and cut out the inconsistency you know we've got to go we've got to go out there and play like we've did in several of the matches in pre-season like we did against Loughborough you know like we did against Cleethorpes we can't keep having these nights off or afternoons off <laughs> at this level so I will be back with another match day vlog on well after Saturday um no after Tuesday night yeah, because it's Stocksbridge. So Wednesday or Thursday, you can expect to see another one of these with the Stocksbridge game. And then obviously Tuesday, uh, Sunday, Monday, you might see the uh, Brick House one. Although that's an away match. So that's a lot harder for me to turn around quite so quickly. And then obviously we've got the Belp one to do after uh, the Bank Holiday Monday. So it might be a case of... Um, the Stocksbridge video will be up on the channel this week, but the weekend games might be into next week before those videos go live, depending on, obviously, how my timings go and what other commitments I've got. Um, so I will look forward to seeing you in the next video. But for now, from me, see Wally, it is goodbye. So take care of yourselves, everybody. Stay safe. Cheerio. Thank you.